So anybody who knows me and my bismuth art knows that I really, really despise when any of the pieces of bismuth are lost, uh, whether they flake off of the final product or when I open a package of bismuth and it's getting all over the place and all that and or the, the leftover slag which I know how to recycle it really pains me to see um, a lot of YouTube videos about making bismuth crystals people have no idea what to do with slag I think they just toss it away and sometimes if I hear that on a YouTube video I'll see if I can offer to buy it off these people those people can't even be bothered to keep the slag unfortunately I just see it as a precious resource to not throw away, right? And so um, actually I have a funny experience. I was showing a friend how to make bismuth art and when I uh, collected all the leftover bismuth dust and she was like, gee, how much is that bar worth? Are we talking like a million dollars? And I said it might as well be because then people would respect it a whole lot more, right? It's unfortunate that it isn't, right? And so... Um, to, 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 to show you how thorough I am. So I just opened that box. Now when slag needs to be recycled, uh, the reaction you need is called a uh, uh, carbothermal reaction. You put the slag you, with uh, a source of carbon into a furnace and you heat it to 850 degrees Celsius. So you can use charcoal. But I actually discovered that any organic material will, will work, even paper towels. So what I like to do is if I get a lot of bismuth dust is to take a damp paper towel and wipe it down. So here are two paper towels that I just wiped down a bunch of bismuth dust with. And then later on when I need to do a carbothermal reduction of my slag to use that as the source of carbon. And so one piece of paper towel will actually last you a long time with slag because it doesn't take a whole lot of carbon in terms of mass, right? The, Atomic mass of bismuth is a whole lot higher than that of carbon, and you just need a one-to-one -one ratio of atoms, right? 